guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be finally doing a look with the morphe 350 palette i actually just hauled this in a video and a lot of my subscribers said one of two things first off that it's been sold out a lot of y'all are trying to get your hands on it because it is a really hot item this palette is honestly like the toy of the year that moms like fight people over on Black Friday <laughs> sales. So this is like a really hot commodity right now. But also you guys said that you'd like to see a tutorial on it. So I thought, well, why don't we do both things? I'm going to do a tutorial on it today. And then I'm also going to be giving away one of these palettes to one of my subscribers. It is an awesome palette for fall. It's filled with lots of warm colors. And the colors in this palette are so pigmented. I'm like so impressed by this palette. I told my friend Jacqueline the other day, honestly, I have so many palettes in my collection. This palette is becoming my favorite palette. I actually bought this palette originally for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, which I'm still doing. But since so many of you said that you were trying to get your hands on this palette and all of my items have not shipped in yet from all the stuff that I got for my next giveaway, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead and do a giveaway with this palette? I am going to be giving this palette away as well as the ColourPop highlighter in the color Wisp, which I actually used today for this look. But I will leave all the information below for the giveaway. Of course, the first rule is it's for my subscribers. So you have to be subscribed to my channel and anything else I will leave. Do I have lipstick on teeth? Yep. Yep. Okay. Anything else I will leave linked down below. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and start with the Morphe palette right here. I like to take this color right here in the palette. It honestly kind of reminds me of Soft Brown by MAC. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this all over my eyelid as like a nice transition color. Since it's so neutral, it's gonna be really good to use that as your transition color. So just back and forth. And I'm actually gonna to try to use mostly Morphe brushes in this video. So this is the Morphe E25 that I'm using to kind of put that all over my lid. And I'm just going kind of back and forth in circular motions, not really packing it on, but just making sure that it's really blended out so that way we can go in with our other colors. Then I'm going to take this shade right here in this palette. It's a little bit darker than the color we just used. And I'm going to take a Morphe E22 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pack that on this brush. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. Whew. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Just kind of packing it on right here in the outer corner. And you can kind of even do a little bit of a circular motion after you've gotten it on the lid. So just don't pull it all the way over here, just right here. And then since that was so pigmented, I didn't realize it. I'm going to take the same brush that we put the original color on with. And I'm just going to go in and blend it out just a little bit. Now we're going to take this beautiful color right here. This is the color that's very similar to Makeup Geek Flamethrower. So I'm going to take actually a MAC 242 brush just because this brush is really ideal for packing that color on. I'm going to go ahead and get a good amount on the brush. So I'm just going to pack this. Look how beautiful that is. Pack this on. And what I like to do is just pack it on and then rub it where I'm not going above the crease color. So I just like to turn my brush where it is pointing straight ahead. Other side. So pack it on. This is probably going to be my go-to look for the fall. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have the lid color done, we're gonna go in and we're gonna darken up that crease color. So we're gonna take the same E22 brush that we used to pack in the darker color, third one down underneath the two shimmer shades. So it's like a gray tone brown. And we're gonna start putting this right here in this crease. What I like to do is start lighter, and then you can always make it a little bit darker later on. But you'd rather have not enough than too much especially whenever you're doing this much to your eye makeup because you don't want to have to go back and take it completely off. I'm going to darken up this side. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do is go back with the original color we started with, the soft brown, and just kind of blend it right up in this crease. And then we're going to do a brow bone highlight, which typically I forget to do. But you don't want to have like a bunch of different crazy colors, so it's almost kind of like an ombre effect. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take the Morphe E18 brush, and I'm just going to take this second color right here in the palette. And I'm just going to go right up underneath my eyebrow to kind of highlight that area. Nothing too crazy. It's a very light color. It's not going to draw a whole lot of attention to that area. So this is going to be the eye look. I'm going to go in and put my liner on. I actually just got this Morphe brush. It was a recommendation from a subscriber. Oh my gosh, I am freaking loving it. It's the M106 and it is perfect. This is the Inglot Gel Liner. Perfect for putting that wing liner on. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on my eyelashes for mascara before we go with false lashes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's actually the little mini travel size that I got for my most recent haul. Oh my gosh, I've been loving this mascara. Like, I can see why people rave about it. Okay, then I'm going to go in with primer. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is a new primer that I just picked up and I really like it. It is really hydrating, but like even though I can be oily, it doesn't really like, it makes my makeup last all day, I feel like, even though it's like hydrating. Then I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Foundation. If y'all are wondering, I have a little pump on this from MAC Cosmetics. That way you can just pump the foundation onto the back of your hand or whatever you like to use. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and dab a couple little dots on my face of this foundation. I'm using the E6, E6 brush by Morphe. Okay, making sure that is nice and blended. Then next we are going to go in with concealer. As always, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I am like almost out of this concealer. If you can look at it, it has like big holes in it. I'm going to go ahead and go up underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to be taking a Morphe E30 brush. Looks like this. I've actually been using this a lot to blend out my concealer. And I didn't grab the beauty blender before I came over here to do my makeup today. So just blending that all the way in. I've honestly never used a concealer brush until I started using this one. I've always used the beauty blender. But it works really nice and then you don't have to worry about going to the sink and wetting your beauty blender. And then I'm going to be going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just talked about this in my favorites video. Oh my gosh, love this powder. Dab some of that on this little pot because I do like to keep the little plastic thing in the inside. And then I'm going to go in with a Morphe E3 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use that to powder underneath my eye. Ooh, in the hair. And I'm going to kind of let this sit for just a minute. Then I'm going to go back underneath this and sweep it off. Then I'm going to go in with a oldie but a goodie, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is my favorite contour palette. And the only brush that is not going to be Morphe, of course, will be this one as well because this is what I prefer to contour with. Go in and sharpen that contour. Side. And then I'm going to take this Ben Nye Banana Powder and just a 
sponge, nothing like fancy, just a little like drugstore sponge. And I'm gonna go up underneath this and bake. I'm just gonna line this out. And what I did is kind of brought that up so you can really curb your face structure. All right, let's do a blush. I'm gonna use the new blush that I just got, Becca Cosmetics Songbird. It's actually like a really nice color for fall. It's really orangey. And I'm gonna use the Morphe E4 brush that I just picked up. So I'm just gonna tap this a couple times and tap it on the back because this blush is pretty dang pigmented as you can see. And I'm just gonna kinda tap that in on the balls of my cheeks. ColourPop Highlighter in Wisp and my Morphe E501 brush. I'm gonna also take this right above my brow bone. Uh, right over my eyebrow. Get that highlight going on. I'm going to take the exact same brush that we used to pack underneath our eyes and I'm just going to dust this away. Oh my gosh, I love this method of doing this like this. And then you know what? I'm going to take just like a stippling brush. This actually doesn't have any product on it. And just kind of blend this in a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do underneath my eyes. And first I'm going to take this, the really dark color that we used, and I'm going to take an E24 brush. So I'm just going to pack that really tightly up under my eye. And I'm going to take that really nice brown color we used as a transition color, and I'm going to kind of buff this out. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Giga Black Lash for my under eye lashes, my bottom lashes, whatever you want to call it. Kind of like this method more using this mirror so I'm not all up in y'all's face like, like I normally am. Now for the lips, which is like what I'm probably most excited about today. This is gonna be NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Bellamar, I think is how you say it. Okay, and then I'm going to lightly put on Diva by MAC Cosmetics just to give myself a little bit of a base because we're gonna be using a lip gloss that's beautiful. So I'm just gonna kinda of like, just put a little bit on. And then we're gonna be going in with Anastasia Black Cherry Lip Gloss. So this is the finished look. Obviously y'all know that if you want to do like a nude lip, that would look super great with this look too. But I don't know, I was just so excited about getting that new Anastasia lipstick or lip gloss that I was like, oh, I'm so ready for fall. I just want to do fall vamp lips. So expect a lot of these kind of lips for my channel in the fall time because I am like super obsessed with really like dark, bold lips. So I just thought this would be like a really good tutorial for fall. You can use this lip or you can use a nude lip. One that would look really great would be MAC Honey Love. It's a really, really pretty nude that you could use with this. So yeah, hope that y'all like this video. If you do like these tutorials, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see more videos from me. And as always, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!